<laughs> I have my friend Samantha here again. It's me. It's you. Samio. Back in Texas. Back in Texas. Mm-hmm. Yeehaw. <laughs> I'm back. Did you miss me? I did. <laughs> it's been like four months. But we're filming another new makeup releases and we're going to chat about the new makeup that's been released and also sneak peeked. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I might have bought some of it. Samantha is on a somewhat successful low buy. It's not that successful. It's, it's going downhill. It's go- as I have like $200 in my Sephora cart. And I'm like, what? It's mostly lip products. It's Samantha 3.0. I'm very excited because I once again teamed up with June's Journey. So thank you so much, June's Journey, for sponsoring the beginning part of this video. June's Journey is an amazing mobile game. If you're like me and you love mobile games, you cannot sleep on this game. It is such a beautiful game. It is like a detective murder mystery puzzle game where you find hidden objects in the most amazingly beautiful environments. This is being set in the 1920s and you're following June on her journey to find the people who murdered her sister and her husband and it's just a great storyline first of all i'm actually at the part of the story now when we've had this big breakthrough and it's almost been a little bit of a twist i love myself a little unexpected twist so if you love a good story as well this actually has a really nice story and just keeps progressing getting more and more intriguing as we move along so you play this game in really beautiful environments set in the 1920s by the way the roaring 20s all the clothing the interior design everything is just so beautiful and retro and chic and I love it so much and you find hidden objects in this environment and you either can progress in the storyline and find out who the murderer is or you can stay and you can redo the same environment again trying to catch all the stars and it keeps getting a little bit more trickier the more times you do it which is something that I really appreciate because I'm definitely a completionist and I love being able to just catch all the stars finish all the clues do all of it see everything and that's one of the things that I really love about this game and for me playing mobile games it's not just about passing time it's part of my like self-care thing I usually play mobile games before I go to bed in the evening I just lay in bed for like half an hour 40 minutes or something play some mobile games have some time for myself also such a great way to actually do pass some time if you're like commuting or something and you also get this beautiful island to renovate I have things that are going on over here and I'm also trying to fi- finish up the lighthouse over here. Uh, it's a really big project but I love having these games where you have a storyline, you have a great puzzle thing and you also have this little project where you can build and just add on to your stuff. I just like games that give you a little extra. You have the puzzle, you have the story, you have the mansion. There's so many things to this game. You cannot get bored with this game. There's just so many things going on and June's Journey is free to play and download and I will leave a link to it down below. It works on both iOS and Android and you can also play it on your computer via Facebook games. So don't forget to check the top of the description box to read up more about June's Journey. I definitely recommend this game and thank you so much June's Journey for coming back and sponsoring another segment on my channel. I am a big fan of the game and I definitely think you should check it out. We did film a Get Ready With Me on Samantha's channel that is already live. We talking about the fact that the trips that we are taking this fall, I am going with my subscribers to uh, Italy this uh, August and she's going with her subscribers to Greece in October. Can't speak. <laughs> and we're going at, it at each other's plus one. Yes. We're S- to travel together. Yes. And I get to meet her subscribers and you're going to be able to meet Samantha and she gets to see you. I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun. We will leave a link to that down below and I will also leave a link to both of our trips down below. I have one spot left as I'm filming this and you have two spots left mm-hmm. as you're filming this. Mm-hmm. But they do do a little bit of a wait list afterwards as well mm-hmm. if it ends up being full. But we are so excited. So, so excited. if you want to see more info about that hear a little bit more about the thought process behind that that is on samantha's channel mm-hmm. yep and uh, also with the things that we are wearing it's also going to be over there maybe i'll even copy paste it and put it in the pin comment if oh, i i know wow look at you who am i <laughs> youtuber of the year okay girl never getting that <laughs> First of all, I wanted to let you know, I'm actually wearing a little bit of Blend Bunny on my face today. Blend Bunny, my code usually with Anjeshka will give you 10% off the website, but today, March 1st, March 1st, did accidentally say April, is gonna give you 20% off, but it's only today on the 1st of March, so if there was something that you were eyeing, maybe take advantage, because it's like a sale, and I will leave the info about that down below. I just wanted to let you know, because I, I got that opportunity, but I don't know if I've like really told anyone about it, but it's happening today. It ends midnight central standard time. The Colourpop and Twilight restock happened yesterday. Okay, okay. Did you buy it? No. I was gonna buy the palette originally. Mm-hmm. I tried, and then the website 
didn't that didn't work out for me mm. it sold out in like 47 seconds yeah i know i had it in my basket and it sold out and i was actually talking to color pop the pr coordinator for something else that day and i was telling her i'm like oh i'm so excited about the launch i'm gonna buy and she clearly knew that like that was not gonna happen so she was yeah. like oh yeah <clears throat> uh you know what we have a spare pr box here we'll just send it away because she knew Mm -hmm. she knew that that was just not yeah. in the cards for me yeah <laughs> the odds yeah. were not in my favor not in your favor <laughs> not in my favor i really was gonna buy it though mm -hmm. i thought it was a really pretty and palette and i was even like i set an alarm i was there waiting i had it in my mm -hmm. basket and i checked out and they're like some of your items in your bag was sold out no all of them my bag was empty yeah was, uh, that's zero dollars so yeah. the restock happened yesterday but it and probably it sold out again. But they did say that this is a small restock. I'm guessing they scrambled. They hired every intern has been pressing Super Shot Shadows. <laughs> I'm guessing the millennials are just at the door. They're like, where's the restock? That was wild. Mm. And so I... I watched a movie the other day and it was so terrifying. I'll have to talk. Should I tell the story? I watched like a Batman movie. But there was like Superman was in it and Batman and Batman was Ben Affleck and I was very confused. And then Wonder Woman came in and then Aquaman was there for a second. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what is happening? But I watched a movie the other day. But I haven't watched Twilight or read the books. But I remember the craze mm -hmm. from it. Like I remember people being so excited about these books. So I was really expecting it to like do well. But mm -hmm. I don't even think I saw that coming. I was like that. You didn't even get a chance. It was I just saw so fun. many. And I say this with love. But I saw so many people being like, who's going to buy this? And I'm like, you are underestimating the craze of millennials. Yeah. Like we were there with our wallets and Stanley Cups ready. Like, listen. Stanley Cups. Don't even. <laughs> I love it. So, yeah. I, this, But they said probably this restock already sold out. And I'm sorry in advance. Even though it hasn't restocked as well doing this but they said they were gonna have a bigger restock this um, spring so i'm guessing they're just doing a small restock to get the people with the pitchforks to like go home and then they're doing a bigger restock this spring so if you miss this restock don't worry they did say they're restocking it again did you buy this one yet the new dior you know i was actually just looking at it really um i don't why am i not surprised? i'm not going to buy it but i was just i was just scoping it out because Dior is not the Dior backstage, but the actual Dior brand. Are, they're releasing their own version of the glowy, you know, the Charlotte Tilbury mm -hmm. flawless finish, which is basically just a really, really, yeah, it's a really, really glowy skin tint. It has sheer coverage, a lot of glow. You can use it as a primer. You can use it as a very, very glowy base if you want to have a glowy skin tint, or you can use it as a highlighter. It's like a multifunction product. Um, I still think the one from Auric is the best. I do like the one from Arc too. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, this one, Catrice just came out with it. It's their mm. Glow Booster, and I've been wearing it a ton, mm. and I love it. And this is like $10, and mm. this one from Dior is 55 Which, I mean, makes sense. It's Dior. 55 for a Glow Booster? The, like, for a... I don't know. That still seems like a lot to me. Yeah. Even for Dior. I mean, because they're... This maximizer oh that's their that? liquid highlight that's 45 dollars. yeah but the, i guess and the other filters. one is a bigger a bigger mm. bottle okay. i guess that's okay because yeah. some people use a lot of it but like i know a lot of people are loving the one from elf i thought the one from yeah. Elf was so sticky oh really i haven't tried it like bugs were getting stuck to me dog hairs i was just like <laughs> I could I could not wear that. I one. like this one. I would recommend mm -hmm. this one. Catrice. And you can get it on I'm pretty sure you can get it on Amazon too. Mm. Well super easy peasy. I decluttered my elf and I decluttered my Charlotte Tilbury too. I decluttered my Charlotte Tilbury. I have the Auric one left. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna get this one from Dior because uh, I already have one that I like and I don't even use that one enough. Mm -hmm. Also, we did see the reveal of the Glaminatrix Pretty Ooh, in Pastels. That's I, fun. It's a really <clears> fun <throat> palette. I have it here somewhere. I would say the star of the show, the liquid blushes. Okay um they're Ooh. really nice okay they're really nice actually i have all, i've already swatched all of them so i can't give them away you can like grab a color that you like and okay go home and try it i think you will okay. like it it is a non-shimmery blush but it looks dewy on the skin mm. but it's not sticky Ooh. so it's like taking all the boxes Bugs i think won't it's get in it but they might land but they will be able they to fly stay. away <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was I following you the other day when a bug flew in my eye? <laughs> that was And then painful. you scoped it out and you're I like, did. Yeah. And I was like, look, this was in my eye. <laughs> 
Our conversations are the best. <laughs> Everyone wishes they could hear them. <laughs> the best. <laughs> That's pretty valid though. But it's not as when you said pastels, like it's it's still It's not too too white based there yeah. are some mm -hmm. substance to the pastels mm -hmm. i mean if you pack it on it will look light and bright on the eyes but definitely that's like the two bottom rows mm -hmm. are a little bit like especially the bottom row is a deep one but i wouldn't even say that the second to bottom row is like a pastel palette i would say it's more like just muted mid-tone colors but it goes really well with the pastel three top rows that are pastel shimmers and pastel mattes mm -hmm. i think it's a very thought out palette for me it worked out really good i really liked it uh, i've only used it once so far i have not edited that bad reel i'll see if i can make that happen before this one and maybe i can like you're so slow what have you been doing going to fondue restaurants <laughs> with me Listen, I made platinum in League of Legends. <laughs> Good job. I knew you could do it. I never doubted you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't even know what that is, but I know it's a game. <laughs> yes, like this. It's the game, mm. you know? <laughs> yeah. That's not how you play League oh, of Legends. Uh, that's not how you play. <laughs> I knew that. Oh, this one that I talked about. This is the Girl Scout Cookies oh, collab. Oh, yes. So this just dropped. This is Hard Candy and Girl Scouts. And I got to say, this is the dinkiest looking thing I've seen in a long time. And is this not like the third thing that Girl Scout Cookies are doing? They did one with yeah. Hip Dot, which rest in peace. No idea what they are. Like what happened? Oh, they haven't. Okay. I don't know. Oh, they man. took a break and then just never came back. Oh, really? Maybe they're in a coma. I don't... Listen, they're not around. I don't know what happened. Uh, oh. But then there was somebody else that did something with Girl Scout Cookies. Who was that? It was very recently. It was very recent. Oh, wasn't it the natives, um, the shower gel things? Did you smell that? Oh, I didn't smell them. It smells like puke. Oh, good. Okay, just what yeah. I want to put on my body. It's like peanut butter. I'm like, yeah, if you get it up again. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, I want that as a deodorant. Mmm. I will catch you a man. If you catch a, if you catch a man with that, it'll be like that's the questionable man. Maybe I should try it. Yeah, who doesn't want a man that's attracted to won't, puke? Finally, won't be single. <laughs> Fine. That's a curse. <laughs> I actually have bought Girl Scout cookies. I've no listen. The dog heard the. Yeah, Tesla's immediately yes, like, like a What's snack up? radar. I like took out my chomstick and he was like, ma'am. Yeah, and what you started you drooling and your pants are still like yeah, that's wet okay. from yeah. drool. But I've never tried Girl Scout cookies, so I think that like, it's time. it's time. I bought these from clearly a Girl Scout outside of Lowe's. And I was like, oh, I've never tried them. And she was literally like, where are you from? <laughs> I know. You you she, said, she never tried it. She had a Rice Krispie for the first time last night. I did. So Rice excited. Krispie I treat. love Rice Krispies. So these are the little, yeah, the... Just more ASMR. That's not ASMR. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> but Thin Mints are my favorite. But I also told Angie it's good to put them in the freezer. What do you think? These are lovely. Yeah? I bought these from Ricardo, but he's not, not getting a single one. Mmm. <gasps> I haven't had a Thin Mint in a minute. Oh, they are thin. <laughs> they are thin. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let us know. Do you like the Thin Mints in the freezer? Because I put them in the freezer. Oh, I could eat this entire box right now. Mm -hmm. Like, video's over. <laughs> See you busy. next week. <laughs> we gotta go. Okay, we were looking through the collection now. And, I mean, what you're seeing here is like a collage. The palettes, those, like, cardboard with the plastic front that you open and it's only attached at the top. They're not it. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't need to see more stuff like that. It's just not the thing. I will say, though, the collection has liquid highlighters. Those are cute. I could be about that. Oh. Those are really cute with the cookies. Is it scented, too? Wait, what did you think of the Thin Mints? I thought they were really good. We literally were like, we turned off from it and we were like, this could be it. <laughs> I just I need to keep eating these Thin Mints. Mm. No, the liquid highlighter is cute, though. I don't wear a highlighter these days, but... It would look cute on you. At all? Mm-mm. You don't like, like, a shimmery sh cheek? I just no. want it to be, like, I want to be able to, like... Oh, you lost your mirror? Okay, here you go. Oh, I like that. It's yes. Like, yes. It's slick, like... No, I just haven't been wearing highlight. Hmm. Yeah. I know. I'm a big fan. Hmm. Big, big fan. Oh, and the... Um, the Groovy Garden by Ensley Rain has released as well. And last time I looked, they did actually have some in stock still, which shows me that they're buying... 
they're able to buy more stock now that they're able because like the more you sell the more you're able like the bigger stock you're able to buy next time so that you don't sell out in three minutes mm -hmm. so i'm very excited for them about that so yeah if you were interested in this collection i do have a dedicated video uh, and i think there are some still left at least when i looked yesterday things might have changed throughout the night oh i forgot to talk about this one Ooh. that i actually have oh have you ever tried Lethal Cosmetics? Um, I feel like yes, but I can't remember what. Maybe a Teresa's Dead Club. That might have been it. Mm -hmm. That might have been it. Because yep. they released some stuff Cute. and I haven't... Wow, I just opened a... There was a black hole. I could literally see nothing. But they're releasing some like multi-chrome like little gels. And I haven't tried them, but I will say like how they look in. It's like, that's very mesmerizing. Like, look at that. Yeah, that's pretty. Can I open this? Yeah. Ooh, I know. I haven't like, it looks like a gel. It's not a pressed glitter, but it looks like a little like a gel flakies. Yeah. So I have no idea how the formula is going to be, but I'm excited to try them out. And then they are releasing some more single shadows. And with Lethal Cosmetics, you can either buy them as single shadows or you can create your own palette where you like Ooh. drag and drop. Look at that one. I know. That's so fun. And some of these are like, the, you see the white ones here are like the iridescent duochromes. And then these, I think, are their um, holo, holographic shimmers. Because it looks like it when I look at it. At least some of them. They look... They look beautiful. They look really pretty. I haven't touched them yet, but I will get to it. It looks very nice. Lethal, I always thought that Lethal had really good quality. But it was never like my favorite. But they have done some changes. And their past couple of palettes and like their singles collection that they've come up with been really nice Ooh. like i ranked that that was actually like almost like a neutral palette like i keep calling it the night moth palette because it has a moth on the front oh. but i think it's called midnight serenade it's it's really nice mm -hmm. i really like it i say to the girl who literally just said before i don't even like eyeshadow anymore i didn't say i don't like it i said i'm not wearing it as much anymore wearing it as much but look i'm wearing it today that's what we're doing. That's the vibe these days. <laughs> That's the vibe. It's almost like, I feel like it's, um, cause I'm always into like fast and quick makeup, but it's like, it's still happening with my eyes, but then I have a bold lip and I just feel like it's like, oh girl, you really tried hard today. I'm like, yeah, I did. What do you think about this one? <clears throat> Fenty Skin is doing a collab with ASAP Rocky. I did see that. I'm beyond curious. I was like, I was like, what is this going to be? I have no idea, but I'm... I'm gonna look. <laughs> I'm gonna look and see. Isn't he like the ambassador for like... Is it Bottega? Um, we love you. I actually don't know yeah, that Bottega. much oh my about God. ASAP Rocky. Yeah, I, good job. I literally, I don't know what he's famous for. For me, he's Rihanna's boyfriend. Um, is he a singer? Yeah. Well, a rapper. Um, I, I, so, for me... What a skin... I, I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. When I first saw their, like, teaser video, I was like, okay, this could go in a lot of directions. I... I don't know. Wait, the, have they said what it is yet? 28. Oh. What is that? Wait, that's... Today! today. <gasps> Hold. It is today. Hold! He held up something. Wait. Did you see that? What is he holding up? Is that... That is a, a lip, lip um, chapstick, right? That's a chapstick. It would make sense. It would make sense. Yes. Do they have that from before? Born to steal. Yours Don't you get PR from Fenty Skin? Have you gotten chapstick from them? Um, I just got like their lip balm, their mm. glosses, but not this. I mean, Wait, it would so make sense. What? I mean, like, that's the only kind of product like this that my husband wears. It's yeah. a chapstick, and I. I emptied his pockets when I was washing. It says Lights, Camera, Lux Luxe Balm. Balm. Yeah. And that's from Fenty Skin. Lip Balm. Lemus has to be a lip balm. Yeah. I found his lip balm. I'm like, oh, I found your lip balm. He's like, oh, this one. You got me this one when we started dating. Sir, have you had the same lip oh balm my in gosh. your pocket for what, almost a decade? I have multiple questions. How are you not dead? Is my <laughs> initial one. Do you still put it on? Uh-huh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. And then the other day, I, <laughs> it's a different video. <laughs> Getting so, me demonetized. Turn real and quick. And then a couple of days later, I was like, "Oh, my lips are so dry." And he's like, "I'm like, I would have thrown it. I would have thrown it off the bridge." 
Is there a I was like, sir, are you... A I just outed you for using a 10 year old lip balm the other day and now you're trying to offer me the same lip balm? Mm -mm, absolutely not. Yeah. And I'm not even a big, like my friend Ashley is like a big like germ I And I'm not. Person. I am I'm literally the, the least mm -hmm. germophobic person you'll Can ever meet. Less. But a girl has got to draw the line somewhere. Yeah, and that's where I draw the line like that's it's not happening. Yeah. I think he still has it. <laughs> Oh my Lanta. No. <laughs> Maybe I should get him one of yes, them. You should. That would be so cute. Ooh, did you see this one? YSL. Oh, I think I'm getting those. They Ma'am? I'm on YSL's PR. It's like no big deal or anything. Not like so important. <laughs> I want to get that. I want to get that. I just put up a video where I thought that their other ones were overrated, so I don't think I'm getting <laughs> Wait, the ones that I love? There's. Oh, I love there are so many equally good or better for half the money. See, I want to say I agree, but oh, something about the why I always go back to them. I always go back to them. But they're reformulating the Volup Shine, and now they're called Love Shine Lip Oil Stick. Mm. And I mean, I'm about this because I actually prefer the Volup to Shine over the other ones because the other ones are very goopy opaque which is not my f and it's just it's not my favorite when it comes to lip products so i think that these are going to be nice because they're going to be sheer and look at that like honey brown i know these look so beautiful i hope they send me all of them they usually don't they usually send like two or three shades at yeah a time. but i am gonna get one of them to try to see if they're the same great formula as they used to be or if they just destroyed the Volup shine yeah because i used to have a couple of these well, if I get before them I was on YouTube. Before I was oh. on YouTube, I used to have these. Like, I loved them before that. I used to buy very bougie makeup back in the days. Ooh, okay. I was okay. like, I don't know. What, mm. I was wearing, like, Chanel makeup. And I was wearing Maybelline. Yeah, I don't know. And now I'm like, switch your Dior, and I'm like... <laughs> I'm Dior and YSL. And I'm like, look at the drugstore makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just told you, there are better affordable options. Yeah, I'm excited. If they send me all of them, I'll send you one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I'll just... Yeah. When are they being released? Coming soon. I hate when it's that. Like, give me a date. I need a date. How about this one? The new one from Danessa okay. Myricks? I did see that one. Did you ever try the other one? Because I feel like that would have been your style because you love the brown. No. I haven't tried... Did you just watch it? Palettes. Mm -mm. It's a very... I guess watched it. I swatched it and it swatched so interestingly. So someone like me was contemplating a brown palette. So I was like, huh. Did you just feel the room shake? Um, so I think I'm gonna get this like okay. pinky, peachy, burgundy, bricky thingamajig. Yeah, it's cute. So for me, I just purchased the, I mean, it's not the same, but like I did just purchase the Natasha Denona mm. palette. Me too. It's um, been delayed. It was supposed to get here on Saturday. Um, it is now Wednesday and I don't even have a date anymore. They were like Sunday. Never mind Monday. Never mind Wednesday. Now it just says soon, delayed. I'm like, they don't even give me a date. That's what happened with mine last time. So mm. I ordered mine from Alta that actually just got delivered. I mm. just got the... But I've never had that before. Sure. And I mean, it's it's the delivery company because they were shipped out immediately. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't... I'm just unlucky with it. And it's all my packages. Yeah, that's really weird. All of them. I have four packages delayed in four different states. I feel like Austin is like in an abyss right now. Yeah, but none of them are in Texas. Yeah, but that's like I can't get to it. There's like a vortex over <laughs> Austin right now that it's like, don't let Angie's packages in. Yes, that's what's going on. Clearly cursed. But I think I'm going to get this one. It goes from light to dark. Yeah, it's cute. It's all matte. Mm -hmm. And I'm first just intrigued. I've never tried. I've, I've swashed a bunch of like Danessa Myricks. And I love Danessa Myricks products. Most of them. I just have never bought any eyeshadows. And I'm like, this is this is the one. Yeah. I'm going to try it. Yeah. Like hopefully it. I don't hate it. <laughs> well, hopefully. And how much is it? Uh, I don't know. 65. Okay. That's what I thought. So it's like a Natasha right palette. Yeah. 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 So it makes sense. Oh, how about this one? This, let me not show you the price. Let me not show you the price. These are lip products from Westman Atelier. I'm like trying to guess, but like be realistic of what the price would be. Mm. I mean, the packaging is, it's like a supersized tampon. It's, it's, I, I was, the, it's the big thick. kahuna. <laughs> it's I, like, I had some things to say when mm -hmm. I saw that, but. I don't know. Is it like in the 60s or something dumb? No, it's not that bad. Thank but God. it's a $50 lipstick. Okay. Yeah. So you can get the palette or a lipstick. 
listen, I love lip products and I love mm. trying lip products, but I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. Mm. I'm not gonna get those. It's, it's, but it also is really. I'm sure the jumbo packaging, tampon. Yeah, size. yeah, but I'm sure it's really <laughs> hefty, but also doesn't fit in like your mini bags. Like, would I be like, embarrassed if it fell out? Of, you know how like you're supposed to be embarrassed if people see that you use tampons. <laughs> like what is? How that? about this one then? These are the new bronzers by NYX. Mm. When I saw that, I was like, bronzers? Don't you mean blushes? Mm. Aren't they very pink? I haven't seen this. Yeah. And I mean, there are people out there, every time I see reviews, especially from people that don't have a warm skin, that are like looking for something that's not a warm bronzer, maybe this range is for you. But I saw this and I'm what? like, aren't these very, very pink leaning? There's even All one that's them. like literally just pink. Even the swatches, like, yes, those are, those are. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit confused by this release. I love NYX. And I'm very excited, like, for them to come up with a new bronzer. I just don't think I can blindly buy because I don't think any of these shades, what I'm seeing here, none of these shades is my shade. That's so interesting. It would have made sense if they said matte, buttermilk, bronzer, and blushes. Yeah, maybe, maybe like the options, a, But just to say they're all bronzers, like... I don't know, maybe it's something with so the picture. I just... I would not be able to pick up my shade from this the, this range. Like, what's your shade? I'm like, uh... And maybe it's supposed to be like the blush toned bronzers. Like, um, Natasha had one of those. Yeah, maybe. That's so interesting. Hmm. But yeah, I just, I just, I don't think any of these are for me. But if you are looking, if you're like, oh, all bronzers are orange on me. I mean, check this range out from NYX. It could be exactly what you're looking for. Yeah. For me, I don't think it's perfect for me there is also this is the mm. one i bought oh my i'm i'm a clown okay. and i bought this i think it's a 55 dollar can 56 dollar candle that is a collaboration with an artist that i have never heard of in my life i don't know who she is I'm, i bet she's great casey musgraves uh she's a she's a singer She's okay. a country singer. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm sure she's great, but she's doing a collab with Boy Smells and I yeah. really... Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I had a sneeze. Is that a sneeze? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you never heard me sneeze? I still don't think I've heard you sneeze. <laughs> But she is releasing something that is a, a sound to send ode to your inner nature. Airy but grounded, sky and dirt, foreign but home, the divine femin feminine, feminine, the peaceful masculine, an examination of what you make room for, what fills your soul. <laughs> it was like getting my popcorn out. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot, but the scents are saffron, eucalyptus, raspberry, beetroot, which means it's gonna smell like dirt. I love that. Lavender, clary sage, mushroom, salted amber, oak moss, patchouli, ECOE super, so it's gonna be smelling a little bit like warm skin, and agar wood. It's gonna smell gonna like smell rain in a mossy forest. I was thinking of dirty skin. <laughs> Clearly, we have different you, fantasies. You, you said you said dirt and warm skin, so now I'm just thinking of dirty skin. I just I am dirty bath water. So I literally saw that, and I am not the person that does this, but I saw it and I immediately went to buy it. Buy it. Wow. Okay. Really got you going. <laughs> I was like, ha. Ah. Right. I love that. I'm like dirt, dirt candles. That's, say less. That's like I'm so curious what this is gonna smell like now because I'm trying to picture a dirt candle. Um, so there's that, but, mm -hmm. but like, I look like at this like picture. Of, yeah, the picture is beautiful. I feel like that was just a lot of scents that you named off. I feel like usually there's like five. But read, like, if read, it's like, a really good blend, have you never left the, read the notes on the Kayali? They usually have like a, oh, they have a lot throw because they also always do like a really good okay. blend. Okay. Love it. Well, I can't wait to see what you think. Mm-hmm. I wish it was arriving right now. I wish yeah. there wasn't an abyss I mean, over a vortex over Austin so I could smell it. Ooh! This one, the new smoky stuff. Yeah, these look cool. From Beauty Bay? These do look cool. Mm, these are not for me, though. Really? Well, I don't even like gray eyeshadow. I, see, and I do. Mm. 
I don't know. I, why I mean, you do. So, I remember so you weird. being so excited about that smoke show by Colourpop that they renamed to Blowing Smoke. Blowing Smoke. Mm -hmm. And now this is Smoky, Smoky, Smoky. They're killing it with the names over at Beauty Bay. Well, the big one is too much, but because I even like the big I, one is ridiculous. No, that's crazy. I have the the quad from Kaleidos, mm. um, Black Jasmine, mm. and also well, Cold Brew is more brown, but Black mm. Jasmine mm -hmm. is like the gray and mm -hmm. the, like. And I just and for me, like the the quad, the four is like perfect. Mm. Like these are would be too big, but, but like, there's a nine like pan, but it's only uh, mats though. Yeah. The nine pans only mats, but their sixteen yep. pans are great. So if you're looking for a smoky palette, especially if you're in the EU, I I can already like unseen tell you that this is probably going to be a good buy. They're usually pretty affordable. Um, they're usually below twenty dollars, and I'm sure they're going to be great. Just, I uh, no. No, I've already been disappointed by the scene on, and it's like I don't need that again in my life. The scene negativity. Been smaller. Yeah. The scene on was already great as a five pen. Like yeah. if you're gonna expand on it, oh, like yeah, yeah, just like me. try to give me something. Mm -hmm. Did you? Um, we talk about this. The Sephora sale is coming. Oh yeah, but not till April because I have a large cart. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like I should probably just buy it now. Yeah, I saw this, and I just like I can't wait until then. <laughs> Sephora. Yeah. I was like. <laughs> Yeah, I'm probably just gonna check out maybe today. But it is sounds like a today. It's thing to during do. the fifth to fifteenth. Isn't that when we're in New Orleans? Five to fifteen. We're back. New Orleans is two to five. April second to fifth. So, we're so back. people are gonna be scrambling yes. during that trip. People could film collab videos in New Orleans. Oh, I am on the support set. Yeah, I booked, I booked okay. one. Okay. Yeah. So I'm excited. But yeah, it's uh, coming in April. So at least now you know like when to wait for the sale. You can get ten, fifteen, or twenty percent off if you're. Like and the Alta 21 Days of Beauty starts, I think it's March 12th. I I'm wondering what the um, the Ulta one is going to be because the last sale was sad. There was literally the not sale, a single thing I wanted. I don't even think I made a video. I didn't make a video and I didn't even make an order. There was nothing I wanted. Yeah. It was a either. really, really boring sale. It was mm -hmm. so stale. It was just products that have been on sale for a hundred million times. Mm -hmm. And then there was just products that like just clearly have not been selling. It was such a boring sale. Mm -hmm. I wonder what it'll be like this year. Oh, I mean, can't possibly be worse. Watch it be worse. I was like, yeah, you say that. I'm like, mm. <laughs> well, well. Mm. Oh, there's a new celebrity brand coming. Great. Who, who now? Uh, Bella Hadid is re uh, releasing Or Bella in May. Okay. I'm Good. not putting that on my calendar, but okay. feel free. What, what is it? Uh, well, I mean, I don't mean to sound rude. It's so exciting. <laughs> I mean, she's been a top model since mm -hmm. her probably early teens. Mm -hmm. I, she doesn't do her own makeup, but I don't think it's makeup that she's releasing. Oh, okay. What she's trademarked for, and usually when people say that, oh, this is what they're releasing because this is what they file trademarks for. When you file trademarks, you usually file for anything that you could ever possibly imagine yourself to be releasing because mm -hmm. it's a lot easier to take away mm -hmm. in the future than to add. So what she has filed for doesn't necessarily need to be what she's releasing, but she has filed for fragrances, mm -hmm. scented lotions mm -hmm. and oils, for the body and face, scented shampoos and conditioners and styling creams, air fragrance, uh, diffusers and incense. So it's clearly a oh, fragrance, okay, fragrance brand. Based. And I think she's going to release just body care, scented body yeah. care. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, it's pretty on yeah, trend as well because I think body care is going to have a little bit of a renaissance this year. Yeah, I so I that. honestly think that like if these are good scents and not just watermelon, Cucumber. <laughs> okay, you may you might not know this, but have you heard of Bath and Body Works? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you had them in. Oh, they have one uh, close to where we buy our dog food. Oh, okay. No, we don't have, have it in Sweden. No. Okay. So back in the day, it was very pop. Back in the day, <laughs> uh, back in the day, it was very popular to go to the mall and to go to Bath and Body mm -hmm. Works and just spray yourself with their cucumber body spray and then walk around with your friends. That was what we did back in the day. Who else did that? <laughs> Sign up in the comments. Because I did. Okay, yeah, because I, I know in Sweden, the Victoria's Secret body sprays. Yes, were very those were also. Popular. Okay, so we started with Bath and Body Works and then you upgraded eventually to Victoria's Secret mm. when you got a little older and flirtier. Because I feel like with Bath and Body Works, what I feel is either the scents are too 
is simple. They're too simple. It's like raspberry. Uh, or the scents are really good, but in a butt ugly container. Then I'm like, <laughs> I would not be caught dead putting that in my, like... Yeah. So I always, I find it hard to find like, a ba- I bought a couple of things actually. Okay. Me and Ricardo bought like two candles that were in the Other not weirdly, the patterns. Yeah. And I just don't like, I don't, I like a candle when it's like a candle, it's like a tomato candle and then it's red. It's like, no, no, don't make it red. I don't <laughs> want that. And it's like tropical and it's pineapples on. Where am I putting uh, this? Uh. <laughs> Wait, I like this. I like this conversation, actually. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> this is good. I like this. So, yeah. I don't buy a lot from Bath & Body Works because I think a lot of their ca- candles look ugly. I found some cute ones. Okay. Good. I haven't been to Bath & Body Works in forever. Oh, my God. Spectrum Collection is doing their 6,544th collection with Disney. Okay. Now they're down to mini. Okay. So, this is what they're giving us. Yeah. I feel like at this point, doesn't the Spectrum, like, customers, like, have as many brushes as I do? Yeah, right. That's very true. Because they keep releasing these brush collections with Disney. I swear someone's being held hostage down in, like, Disney cellar somewhere. Like, more collections! More! Even Now the- do Lady and the Tramp. Now do Minnie. <laughs> now do Peter Pan. <laughs> I just feel like not even the promo photo looks exciting. No, they like, just there's gave just up. nothing... Uh, yeah, there's nothing giving. I, I just, maybe it's because I'm not, like... Super, because I don't know if you knew, but in Sweden, we love Disney in Sweden, but Donald Duck is by far the most popular. Really? Nobody cares about Mickey in Sweden. Wow. Nobody cares about Mickey. Donald Duck. We we want the the sassy, angry. Yeah. (laughs) And I mean, in Sweden, we have a Christmas special. Mm, It's been on Christmas every year since 1959. That's so wild. And it's the Donald Duck Christmas special. And... Everyone watches it to the point that even crime goes down during the time that Donald Duck is airing. The so 911 hilarious. calls drastically drops because, like, don't interrupt. I'm watching Everyone's Donald busy. Duck. I remember one time we were watching it and somebody called my mom. She's like, Who is calling me at this time? Why would you call me during Donald? <laughs> this is Donald time. That's so cute. I love I it. I can't imagine the US. We all do something at one time. Wait, you did the I mean, Super Bowl. It's quite a bit bigger. That's fair. <laughs> And because you get to watch it for sports, you get to watch it for commercials, and you get to watch it for Taylor Swift. (laughs) Go Taylor Swift, boyfriend! (laughs) Polite Society is releasing some new Mm, products. I saw these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They actually don't look horrible. No. They look a little bit like a mix between Persona and Merit. Or like Persona and... Yeah, maybe Merit. They're the ones that have the little Mm -hmm. chubby things. I mean, releasing like a lip treatment and a... like. cream blush it's pretty on brand is it yeah. revolutionary no are they even the first or even the 374th brand to come out with it no but i mean it looks cute yeah i'm not doing a lot of liquid and cream right now on my face mm. i'm doing mostly powder what did i but actually I feel like it might change something. i had powder on today i do prefer powder over cream but i've been very much into like the liquids and the creams but if i could choose like gun to my head you can only pick one i'll pick the powders mm, okay Definitely. Okay. But I also am very much into trying all the new formulas. So I keep reviewing stuff that has like come out. That's fair. But I'm wearing powder today. I'm wearing the REM Beauty. Still reviewing those. So Tom Ford releases a like a Soleil summer collection each year. It basically looks the same. Not only the packaging, but the inside too. Um, and it is Since like 2018. Yeah, I know. And I'm like, I guess people still buy them and they're like super excited about it. Maybe it's a collector thing. It could be yeah. because if they do keep coming out with it, it's clearly yeah selling. Like, yeah, it's gotta make sense to the someone, brand if they yeah. keep doing it. So it's an emerald dusk quad, and then there is the new ultra shine lip colors. So new colors in the existing formula, I guess. And then there is a. I have no idea what you're about to say. I'm so it's curious. A pH adjusting lip. Oh, okay, okay. A lip oil with okay. pH adjusting with the gold specks in it. Oh. Nobody's escaping. Nobody's escaping. Claire's makeup, the drugstore, the indie community, Sephora, Tom Ford. Nobody can escape the, the, the pH adjusting. I have one from House Labs in my cart right now. And, and then there's a highlighter in the shade Golden. This cannot be new. No, there's no way. There's no way that they That's have pretty. not released that. And especially it- when it's called Golden, which is yeah. like the most generic name in the history of generic names. 
it has to be like a pre promote. Yeah, I mean, sure. it looks really pretty, but these are like, isn't that quad like $100? Yes, and I think the lip products, aren't they like in the 50s? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I mean, I'm, but again, people, people will be buying them. I see, actually, now that you say this, mm -hmm. I see a lot of people pull out those Tom Ford lipsticks when I'm out and about. Because really? I'm always so sneaky. Well, I'm sneaky. I'm not sneaky. I'm show me your bag. Show me what's in there. But I see a lot of Tom Ford lipsticks being pulled out. Mm -hmm. Now that I actually think about it, maybe I just hang out with really bougie people. I, was like say I, said, that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever like as I pull out my milk makeup cooling jelly stick, <laughs> and they're like, "Ma'am." I do like. I mean, I carry around like Charlotte Tilbury, and I see other people pull out like Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, I don't Charlotte. know if I've seen like. Tom Ford. Mm -hmm. But every time I'm at like a Neiman Marcus, they have a really nice Tom Ford counter mm. here. I There's always people there. Yeah. Looking at stuff, looking at the makeup. So, yeah. I do feel like it's maybe one of those brands that people are very loyal to. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That could be true. But I also feel like it was a little bit more popular in the beauty sphere a couple of years ago. People yeah. were like really using and talking about the oh, quads yeah. and the new releases and not really so much anymore. I always felt um, not a part of the community because I wasn't a Tom Ford girl because I couldn't afford it. <laughs> I didn't want it. I didn't buy anything. I'm like, <laughs> couldn't afford anything. Mm. So I just watched from afar. Just like, and I was good. like, I want to try buy drugstore too because there was not available. D different needs, different wants. <laughs> we are cutting in this. This is actually filmed way after. <laughs> but we were sitting here eating Girl Scout cookies and we were watching this thing from Huda Beauty mm -hmm. that she just posted about her taking back, being the CEO again of her company. And she just dropped a she, couple she of bombs. Just, she just <laughs> dropped some tea on there. I didn't see that It was so coming. fascinating. I will link this reel down below. You definitely should go and watch it. Basically, like she said that letting go of the CEO position was one of the worst mistakes of her life. And some of the products that have been released, she wasn't as active with them as she would want to be. And she's coming back into product development and she's coming back as a CEO. And she announced that they're, they're like, just redoing a lot of stuff. They're gonna be rebranding Huda Beauty mm -hmm. with a new logo. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing new, new packaging. packaging. Wow. That's huge. And can you imagine like Huda Beauty is sold worldwide. Mm -hmm. And they have big gondolas mm -hmm. in like all the Sephora's in US for example. And even in the Sephora's in Europe, Huda Beauty is in there. That money that goes into rebranding a big brand like that, the amount of decimals that is needed. <laughs> I'm kind of shook. Yeah, we were literally like, and she said they're discontinuing the entire glowish line. That's wild. Wild. And also she said they were discontinuing, she called it delisting, but discontinuing mm -hmm. a bunch of other products as well. She I'm was like, so curious I want to streamline be. it. And she also said that she's like bringing back some fun that's horrible powder though. I love it! <laughs> Twins. Twins. <laughs> Same person. But also she said bringing back some fun. And I remember Huda Beauty back in the day, they had a lot of colorful things. They did. And it's been very neutral the last couple of years. Yeah. And sometimes neutral sells, but sometimes also neutral sells so good in comparison to other things. And if it all becomes very brown brown, you can lose interest in a brand. Mm-hmm. I'm so curious. That was so very interesting. And how she said when she first started, it was with the lashes, which mm -hmm. is funny because that's, you know, the first product I tried mm -hmm, from Huda mm -hmm. Beauty. It was the Samantha lashes. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I bought those. Mm -hmm. But she said, you know, I never had like a full mm -hmm. vision in mind oh, yeah. of what this brand could be. And she just <clears> kept adding on products without yeah. really thinking about the full picture. And she was even <clears> saying like, there's so many influencer brands now and she was like when i look at them they're they're like they look so good they're doing mm -hmm. so good everything is so streamlined and it looks so cohesive and mm -hmm. she was like saying that she needed something similar for huda beauty yeah. i am so intrigued what's <laughs> interesting to me is i've never once thought huda beauty is not well put together no i don't think i've ever thought that well the only thing that didn't fit in was the glow wish yeah yeah Wow, that's some tea. That's yeah. some tea. I'm so happy we watched that. That was yeah. so interesting. So let us know down below. How do you feel about Glowish getting discontinued? How do you feel about the rebrand? And what other products do you think is going to be discontinued? If I don't think she's going to discontinue 
the concealer because I think it's too new. Okay. But I'm guessing the concealer in the the liquid concealer that she had in the tube. I'm guessing that's goner. It's it's a goner. It's not coming. I, okay. I don't think she's gonna bring that. I'm wondering if she's gonna. I think the foundation is probably a big seller in a lot of places in the world. Okay. But she did say that there was going to be a new foundation. So I'm wondering if they're reformulating their new full coverage mm. into like a more modern version. Because it is a pretty heavy, thick foundation. It was not for me. Yeah. So it would make sense if they're rebranding. Might as well just yeah. make that foundation a little bit more modern, a little bit more skin-like. Because that's what's in now. It's skin-like full coverage. Yeah. Yeah. But... Wow. That was cool. I like that. I'm glad that we watched that. No, yeah. it was so interesting. I'm doing a short form vlog of just my day today. Mm. And I was like, wait, I got to get our reactions on the vlog. And, and then, then she, she said, this continue. We were like, oh! <laughs> like we, I got our reactions on camera because we were both shook. That was shocking, but wow. very interesting. Let us know what you think down below. Let's go back to past Samantha and Angie when we're discussing whatever we were discussing. I'm coming in just as a little chatty voice because I wanted to share a couple more things that had been released or like revealed between me and Samantha filming that one and me actually editing the video. And I thought they were so interesting that I wanted to talk about them. First one is the one you're seeing here on screen. And this is the new foundation from Urban Decay. This is the Face Bond Waterproof Liquid Foundation with Niacinamide. It is a three-in-one foundation. It is a serum and a setting powder plus a uh, foundation, of course. It is a buildable medium coverage it has niacinamide which i don't know how i feel about like skincare ingredients really in makeup because sometimes people it makes you not be able to buy something that you might be interested in trying for me i love niacinamide but like i don't need skincare in my makeup personally but this is supposed to absorb sweat and oil offering a natural finish for up to 24 hours i'm very very intrigued in this one it is coming soon and i am very very intrigued i will definitely be trying this one out also the house labs powder blushes that for one reason or another were limited edition they are now back and they are not limited edition anymore but i'm guessing they wanted to have a little bit more of a safe color selection for their permanent range because some of their more wilder colors are no longer available again i don't really know how i feel about that either these are matte blushes and i don't normally go for a matte cheek so personally i prefer something already has shimmer in it but that's like my personal preference but i do like the colors of these i think they look really nice some of them are colors they had from before some of them are newer colors these are already up on the website if you want to have a more if you want to have a better look at them, I will link them down below in case you're interested. And the last thing I wanted to mention is that Nomad had started uh, sneak peeking that they're releasing a new product. This says that this is launching on March 12th and the only sneak peek or the only clue that we have so far is this picture of like a window that has rain on it. Nomad did message me today and let me know that they have sent me this new item. So I will show you what it is as soon as I'm able to, but just know that something is coming from Nomad and I like Nomad. So I'm very excited to see what this is. Okay, back to me and Samantha again. Okay, I think that that is it with the makeup news. I'm trying to look so we haven't missed anything, but I don't think we have. And if we missed something, it wasn't super exciting. So facts, facts, facts. I hope you enjoyed watching me eat Thin Mints. I might have cut all that out, but like the... Oh. We are getting a little low in this. <laughs> it's because of me. It's my fault. I'm the problem. But don't forget to go and check out the video with Samantha. And thank you so much as well to June's Journey for sponsoring the beginning part of this video. And if you want to see what we have on our faces, I will try and put it in a pinned comment down below. If you don't see the pinned comment, poke me or just press F5 because I'm probably like trying to fix it as you're watching. But yeah, I will see you again. Ooh! If you stay to the end, let us know in the comments. There's going to be a bonus video tomorrow with a new indie release that I haven't talked about. Ooh. I haven't like sneak peeked or anything. Ooh. And it's a collab. Oh, not mine. Not mine. Not Somebody mine either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I can't wait to show you that one. So stay tuned for a bonus video tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Bye.